Number 1. Athanasakian Archaeological Museum of Bolos. This museum has a payload of artifacts from the geometric period, from 900 to 700 BC, a time associated with legends like the Trojan War and Jason and the Argonauts. Many of the finds discovered at the Neolithic settlements of Domini and Sesclo are here, like terracotta figurines, jewelry and stone tools. Number 2. Salapadas Museum. A token for Bolo's industrial development in the 20th century, the Salapadas Museum is in a roof tile and brickworks founded in the 1920s by Spyridon and Nikolaus Salapadas. At the height of production the factory churned out up to 9 million tiles, Byzantine and French style, and bricks of different sizes each year. Number 3. Domini Archaeological Site. West of Bolos are the ruins of a Neolithic village, first occupied around 4800-4500 BC, with houses built from mud bricks on stone foundations. Designed according to a social hierarchy around a central square Domini has a level of sophistication in its urban planning that isn't seen at other settlements from this time. Number 4. Sesclo Archaeological Site. At Sesclo you'll glimpse the Sesclo civilization, the first Neolithic culture in Europe, with the oldest fragments going back to between 7510 and 6190 BC. The site shines a light on people who lived off agriculture and animal husbandry and had advanced stone and obsidian tools, and pottery making skills. Number 5. Mount Pelion. At Bolos you couldn't be in a better place to travel the dreamlike landscapes of Mount Pelion. This peak has 24 villages, which, like Porteria below, have unmistakable Pelion houses made from green, blue or grey slate and with painted wooden window frames and doors. Number 6. Porteria. An easy drive north of Bolos will bring you to the lovable village of Porteria on the slopes of Mount Pelion. Facing the Pagasetic Gulf at an elevation of 650 meters, Porteria, was founded around the monastery of Panaea in the 1200s. Number 7. Centaur's Path. In Greek mythology Mount Pelion was the domain of the Chiron the Centaur, who was a tutor to heroes like Heracles, Achilles, Jason and Theseus. With these tales in mind you can pick up the centaur's path up the slope from the village of Porteria, a short hike over mountain streams crossed by little wooden bridges on green slopes shrouded by beech, plain, chestnut, oak and maple trees. Number 8. Pelion Railway. The narrow gauge line from Bolos to Millas in South Pelion was laid in 1903 and operated up to 1971 when it was shut down as a cost-saving measure. But in 1996 the section from Agnolechonia, 10 km east of Bolos, to Milas started running as a heritage line. Number 9. Anavros Park. As you leave the archaeological museum you can go for a gentle walk along this seafront park. In 1988, there was a sculpture symposium at Anavros Park and there's a line of whimsical concrete and metallic pieces that resemble trees next to the water. Number 10. A Likes Beach. A few minutes by road southwest of the center of Bolos you will arrive at a long sandy beach in a laid-back area with bars and restaurants. The beachfront at A Likes is divided by breakwaters, leaving transparent shallows where toddlers and unsteady swimmers will be able to wade and paddle with no danger. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.